Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, uh, including stuff when it comes to retirement and where you should retire and maybe where you shouldn't retire. I have no idea where I'm going to retire, but um, apparently, according to this news article from CNBC, um, you should not be retiring in the San Francisco Bay Area. <laughs> Well, why? Well, let's find out. Maybe it's because of these dinosaurs right there. You know, they're alive. They're in our world. And then they're in the Bay Area. Um, may, maybe that's why you shouldn't retire there. But I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so... Uh, this is basically a summary. But why do we want a summary? We want to, we want to look at the article. All right. Come to San Francisco for the scenery. Just don't plan on retiring there. Um, that's because it's the worst city in the country to retire if you like to keep more of your cash in your pocket. The uh, personal finance website looked at the major cities in all 50 states and ranked them, blah, blah, blah. Particular San Francisco residents are facing high living costs. Well, this should not be any surprise to anyone because California has high living uh, costs. Uh, they're saying the median list price of a home is $1.19 million. That is insane. Uh, the average monthly Social Security benefit clocks in at 1387 for San Francisco residents. When you save so much for retirement, the key thing that will hurt your savings is where you decide to live. Well, yeah, I would agree with that. If you're on a limited income, why would you want to go, why would you want to waste a lot of that money uh, when you could live someplace else and have a good chunk of that change where you could use it to, you know, enjoy your retirement? That makes sense to me. Um, in this case, real estate, particularly home prices and high property taxes, made several metro areas in the Golden State too expensive. Fremont, San Jose, and Irving rounded out the top four worst cities for retirees, according to gold banking rates. Even Warren Buffett agrees. He's like, yep, yep, I, I don't recommend that you go there. I, I'm fine, though. I'm a, I'm a billionaire. I, I can retire there if I want to, but I wouldn't recommend that you go there. That's what Warren Buffett there says. Um, best and worst cities to retire rich. Well, I won't be retiring rich. <laughs> this, this wouldn't apply to me. Uh, so basically everything in California um, uh, and then Hawaii... Hawaii would be a cool place to retire, wouldn't it? Man, if you had the money, that'd be, that'd be a sweet place to retire. But, let's see. Four best places to retire. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Baltimore, Maryland. Toledo, Ohio. Spokane, Washington. And Indianapolis, Indiana. That's interesting. Washington, I think, would be would be a nice place. Uh, a lot of green. Well, there's a lot of greenery in, in all these areas, but I don't know. I think I'd be. I've got I've got family in Ohio, so maybe Toledo, Ohio. But there's a lot of tornadoes. Tornado and Toledo, kind of rhyme, so I don't know if I'd want to stay in Toledo. Um, Baltimore, Maryland. I don't know. There's like a lot of hurricanes and stuff. And do you really want to retire in this area? I mean, sounds like, I don't know, I think I'd rather be in Washington. I don't know, they get hurricanes sometimes over here, but I, I feel safer over there. Uh, anyway, many of these cities have really high housing prices. If you rented out a home instead, that might be a smarter bet to live there. Um, other costly cities include Honolulu, New York, Oakland, California, well, anything in California, L.A., Seattle, and San Diego. On the other hand, retirees hoping the stretch of dollars should look. Okay, so they go into that stuff. Um, median list price for a home is just under 150000 And the average property tax bill tallied up to $947. And that they're saying uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Retirees there, on average, collect a slightly larger Social Security check. Um, so if you're retiring and you want to relocate, go to a place that's friendly for your savings and avoid buying a new home. 
that you'll have to keep paying for if possible sell downsize and rent um, or you could look at another video that I have um, on my channel in regards to full-time RVing and whether or not it is better than owning a house or not hey if you're if you're gonna retire my thought is why not get an RV why not get a motorhome or get a fifth wheel with a truck because your living expense will be a lot cheaper because all you really will be paying for is you know, if if you pay if you have the money to pay off the motorhome and pay off the fifth wheel um and maybe the tr maybe the truck depending on what, which one you get okay and the only thing that you would really would have to pay for is the park that you stay at and some of these places will give you a discount if you stay there for a whole month and during your retirement years I mean, do you really need a big house during your retirement years? I mean, I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more simpler I want I want things to be, you know. And I don't I don't want a big house to take care of. So, you know, an RV it seems perfect to me. Um, and with the ability that you can just pick up and move and and change scenery and go check things out and just kind of live life. That, to me, sounds like a great way to enjoy retirement. So, and that would be a great way to uh, utilize your money without having to put it into an expensive house that you might have a hard time trying to sell if you had to. Those are my thoughts, anyway. What are your thoughts? Uh, there's comments. There's a comment section down below the video. So, let me know what you think. I'm interested. Um, other than that, like I mentioned, there's other videos and uh, that one RV video, I'll put it up on the screen here for you, along with uh, some others. But uh, subscribe. I always put videos up all the time, so that way you'll know when there's another one. And until the next one comes, I will see you next time.